we do here at the Hebrew University is try to look at global problems. The Center for Bioengineering is a unique multidisciplinary program that aims to take biologists and engineers and teach them how to think like multidisciplinary scientists and innovators. In my own laboratory, we are very excited to produce projects and uh, devices we call human on a chip. What we are aiming to produce are really small devices that will have uh, multiple organs actually grown on them. And these are going to be organs produced with human cells in human genetics and they are connected with microscopic channels that will mimic human physiology. And in that way I can do experiments on a chip instead of doing experiment on an animal. Mobile life. Now, this is literally a technology that saves lives. This is a gadget that's installed in your vehicle that can assess if you're coming too close to a vehicle in front of you, if you're about to hit a pedestrian, if you're swaying between the lanes, etc. It literally saves lives all over the world. And when I mean all over the world, I mean that 85% of the world market of accidents, avoidance of collisions is mobile when you look at research that takes place there. This is truly one of uh, the centers of excellence in the Hebrew University. We're studying how these cells kill tumor cells, how they limit cancer, and what we're hoping to achieve is maybe a way to enrich these cells and to use them as an anti-tumor therapy. These cells that are naturally found in our body have the capacity to attack tumor cells and kill them and giving us another tool to treat cancer because until now cancer has been treated with chemotherapy that has a lot of side effects. These cells are naturally occurring and can be utilized as another way to treat cancer. One of the stars of our Brain Research Center is Chagai Bergman. He's trying to alleviate Parkinson's. The unique thing is, to under, is the understanding that the brain is a computational device that uses electrical activity to make computation. Chagai Bergman is one of the true leaders in deep brain stimulation. When you see two different videos, one before and the other after, uh, the closed-loop deep brain stimulations, you cannot believe that these two individuals are one and the same. I think there is a huge importance to cure Alzheimer or at least to delay its uh, progression. It's greatly important to provide people with not only long life, but healthy life. And we ask whether, by selective manipulation of the aging process, we can delay the onset of Alzheimer's and other neurodegenerative disorders, or maybe even prevent them. When you look around you in Israel, uh, people immediately notice our beautiful blue skies. Well, that comes with a price. We're short on water. And uh, the problem is, is that we also want to grow our own food. And uh, water is a scarce resource, not just in Israel, actually most of the world. So what we do in Israel is we reclaim our water. One of the resources of water today is wastewater, because the natural water resources are not sufficient anymore. The wastewater is collected from the different uh, towns and cities and neighborhoods to a major treatment facility where it undergoes physical and biological treatment. Then the wastewater is been further treated by good filtration and then it can be distributed to the fields uh, for irrigation. You want to make sure that it's used sensibly. You don't want the water to evaporate, you want the water to uh, reach the plants. And that's why Israel is of course known as the home for drip irrigation. So what we're doing is first of all, we're squeezing every drop of water that you can out of our sources. And then we're making sure that every drop of water reaches precisely the place where it needs to with maximum efficiency. Because the problems that we try to tackle are global problems, you need a global solution. So if we can gain access to knowledge and expertise, good things will happen.